And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity for which my colleagues on the panel are all blindfolded. The blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. John. Yeah, good. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? In the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and let's begin with Bennett Surf. Well, if you're in show business, is there a star on your dressing room? No, no star. No star. No star? No star? No, I would say this. I think here that... Uh, even in my ignorance, I must be allowed in the lay terms to uh, change the answer to a yes with our guest permission. Don't even have a dressing room. Uh, well, <laughs> well, if you had one, there would be a star on the door. Uh, so we'll call that a yes, Miss Francis. Are you a leading man? And what kind? He man? Leading. He, oh, I'm he, sure. He, I can lead. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Are you better known for motion pictures than for stage or television? I, I'm, I, I've been known to have been on them. I think I'm basic... Can I should say something, yes or no, sir? Yeah, I think uh, so. I guess I better say yes. I guess you better, too. Yeah. All right, Miss Kilgallen? Uh, would you ever play a nightclub or supper club as part of your regular work? Um, night? Yes, yes, nightclub, yes, ma'am. Mr. Sir? Are you doing that in New York at the present time? Yes, I am. Miss Francis? Are you a singer? Because uh, uh, you're hurting your voice are, are you if you singer? are. <laughs> <laughs> are you a singer? Yes, I'm a singer of sorts. Mr. Kramer? Uh, have you ever played... Uh, and this is just uh, my own peculiarity. <laughs> Have you ever played uh, on uh, the uh, strip in California? Is that your peculiarity? <laughs> <laughs> I've had fun on the strip, but I never played on it. <laughs> well, that's what got a night to go, Miss Kilgallen. Have you currently a record in the top 20? No, I don't have a record in the top 20. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Were you ever in your career associated, theatrically speaking, with the Royal Northwest Mounted Police? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm Nelson proud to Eddie. say I was. <laughs> oh, that was great. I was afraid somebody would remember that you were at the Empire Room at the Waldorf Astoria, or remember that... That was a place to ask about, anyway. I've been practicing all day long in an entirely different voice, and when I got here, the gentleman says, no, I want you to talk in a real high, squeaky voice. So let's hear the voice you were practicing. Oh, I had a real low one like this. From, <laughs> real from laryngitis, you know. Well, we've, we've gotten to the point where we, we don't pay too much attention to the voices because they're always disguised, but we, we find out who's around town at all the better nightclubs and here in the movies and things. I heard about that conversation this afternoon <laughs> <laughs> before the show, I believe it was. Bennett very carefully went over the list. I've been in California this past week, and Bennett very carefully went over the list of who he thought might be in town while I was in the other dressing room. <laughs> then he says, well, didn't you know? <laughs> Hi, boys. I almost went to Jeanette McDonald myself. <laughs> <laughs> what is actually, um, Stan, I think for the benefit of our audience, when you said this strip in Hollywood, I must, my ignorance is massive. It's is a this... local joke, isn't it? Well, you see how you can go wrong. No, but what is this? Where Did you mean the sunset? Yeah, the sunset. Zero's Mocambo. Right. Oh, Cero's 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 77 and all those. I thought, that, uh, I thought I was going to burst out in a great burst of brilliance. I can do an imitation of Cookie. Do an imitation of Cookie. <laughs> well, I must say that I'm sure I speak for everybody who's in the theater and, and all the folks at home. I know that I have had great pleasure from your wonderful talents and abilities for all the, the adult years I can remember. And it's just, to, to me, uh, 
great that you're in the Empire Room at the Waldorf and still going on as you were when I was a young man and that great voice was still uh, in those days to us the essence of romance because we had to go to work every morning at 8 o'clock and quit at 5, you know. <laughs> well, I thank you, John, very much on behalf of myself and my two partners, Gail Sherwood and Theodore Paxson, who uh, are with me and without whom I would be very little... In yeah. this show. Well, I think you are all... so nice to be here again. Well, it's wonderful to have you with us. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. It's wonderful to have you. I don't reckon there anybody's ever forgotten Rio Rita or Mary Widow or Rosemary. They're wonderful days. And, uh, <laughs> panel, I must either. admit you've done rather well, to, done rather well so far, but uh, we'll all be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. <laughs>